Hi and welcome to the Armageddon channel. My name is Stuart Garner and this is the second part of our restoration on our uh, Stuart M3A1 light tank. As you can see inside, it looks completely different. We managed to sandblast it, taken as many of the bits out as we could or we needed to, um, and managed to get the sandblast in there and completely give it a good, good clean up. Fortunately, because of where it's been, um, there was only a little bit of water in the bottom and it's rotted a little bit of the bottom out, but most of the inside of the vehicle is in immaculate condition. Once we got the surface rust off and the old paint, it's come up absolutely beautiful. Even the linkages, nearly everything moved with not very much, um, much persuasion, which is unheard of with these sort of restorations. Nearly everything we normally do, we have to get the gas torches out and heat it up and either cut pieces off or make new. But this thing is in such good condition and we're really, really lucky. As you can see from the, uh, the running gear, she's come up absolutely beautiful. Uh, normally, again, we would have stripped this down to all the individual components, but with this one, we didn't have to. Everything was moving when we moved it, when we towed it in and out. Um, so the old grandma said, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. So we were more than happy to leave it as it was. So it saved us quite a bit of work. So here we are in the engine bay. Engine's obviously been removed. Um, we managed to get this looking pretty good. These are the uh, fire extinguisher nozzles down here. They're in pretty good condition. All of the conduit's been taken out uh, and that's been remade so we can rewire it all. But generally in here, it's in very good condition. Actually got the fuel tanks either side here. You can see the holes there where the, uh, where the tanks go. I'll show you the tanks in a second. We've had them remade. When we actually pulled them out, we thought, oh, yeah, they're, they're in really good condition. But actually when we looked inside them, there was about four or five inches of rust where they'd actually rotted from the inside and totally unusable. So we've had to, had to remanufacture new ones of those. As I mentioned earlier, these are the fuel tanks that we've had remade. Made a lovely job of them well, just a, just a local company's done it for us. Cost me about a thousand pounds to get, them, get the pair made, which to be fair isn't too bad. There's a lot of work gone into these. Um, we just could not use the others, the others are in such a state, so we're, we're more than happy with these. Here we have the seven cylinder radial engine that we've taken out of the Stuart. Um, this is actually going to go down to, uh, down to a chap we know down near London, and he's going to look over it for us. We do quite often have a go at doing these things ourselves, but the chap who's going to do it has already done three other of these engines, so it makes sense really for us to take it down to him. Apparently it does run. The guys we bought it from said they did have it running 10 years ago, so we're hoping, touch wood, that it's, uh, there's nothing too seriously wrong with it, but we'll, uh, we'll keep you informed on that one. Here's the turret, obviously the wrong way up now. We flipped it upside down so we could strip it all out and sandblast it. Um, we've got everything out that we could possibly get out that was, uh, that was necessary. Sandblasted, uh, everything in it that's left here is in working condition. So we're really, really pleased with this as well. It's going to be rewired over the next couple of weeks. Um, and then we're hoping even to get the, uh, the stabilisation unit in there working. It does all seem as though it should do, but watch this space. We'll do our best with that one. Uh, we have the live gun that goes back in here. We're registered firearms dealers, so we are allowed to have these, these, most of these tanks live. So this, th this one will actually fire once we've, uh, once we've finished it. Well, we'll obviously never put a live round through it, but we will fire a, fire a few blanks off just to, uh, just to try her out. Here we have the wings of the, or the fenders. This go, these are the front of the Stuart. These go on the front uh, just above the tracks. This is actually the colour that it's going to be. This is the base coat. Um, and there's two other colours on it as well. But this is the, uh, the lower part of the hull will be this colour and then it sort of it goes up from there. But we just wanted to get a, get a bit of paint on it just so we could see exactly what it was going to look like. Here we have the, uh, the parts from the inside of the turret, or some of them. This is the turret basket. I don't know if you remember in the earlier video uh, when Alex was sitting inside, this was absolutely full of oil and grease and looked terrible. Luckily though, the oil and grease has preserved it. We managed to clean it all off, sandblast it out and it's absolutely come up perfectly, so we're really, really pleased with this. This is normally rotted out. Uh, these boxes, these were in the sponson. Again, they're normally either missing or rotten, but they're, again, in pretty good condition. Fire extinguisher bottle. We won't be using the extinguisher at that particular system, and um, we're going to plumb in a more modern system, but that will be inside the vehicle in its original position for, uh, for looks. And then we've got all of these other parts here still got to, uh, to work on. You can see the two little domes there. They're the, the tops of the armoured um, fuel tank covers. Uh, you've got a traverse box there, that, that thing that's not been painted yet, air filters, and then all, as you work your way over here, the stuff that we've sandblasted, that's the cowlings from around the engine, and uh, that's the, uh, the front armour still there. So lots and lots still to do, 
but we are working our way through it slowly. We were hoping to have this done by Christmas and I think we would have been pretty well on track. Unfortunately, one of the lads that's, uh, that's been working on it with us um, is, is not very well, so we've been a man down for oh, about a month now, so just takes a little bit longer. Hopefully, if all goes as planned, which touch wood again, we should be looking towards the end of January and uh, we should be able to uh, show you her in her finished state. So there we have it. Uh, if keep your eyes open for the next instalment and we'll show you it's actually being rebuilt. Um, and thank you for watching. And if you have liked it, please like and subscribe to our channel, the Armageddon channel, and we look forward to seeing you again.